Hey guys, I'm um, back again for an update here on my tank. Uh, it's been a long time. Quite a few months, maybe three months, I'm not sure. Some people were looking for an update. Um, as you can see, the background is black. I'm not sure if I put a video on this yet. I've been kind of going back and forth with that. Uh, the black and the blue. I do like the black. The blue is kind of cool too, so... If you want, you know, put your opinions in and see what you think. Uh, there's other videos with the blue background. Uh, now I have a black background. Um, I haven't done any water changes in about eight months. And I'm assuming that's affecting my corals as you uh, move up closer here. Uh, my hairy mushroom, coral, hairy mushroom corals are almost gone. Uh, they're basically white. They were covering that whole rock in green. There's a couple more that in the process have moved away, moved off, but I don't know if they're still alive, but they're not doing very well. Um, the mushrooms are fine. This leather coral is fine. It's closed up right now because I was moving stuff around recently. But my polyps, those are very uh, closed up and disappearing. You can see the mushrooms right below it are doing perfectly fine. Still got the anemone. Um, my cleaner shrimp died too. He was very large, so maybe he was older. Uh, they tend to live, I guess I was reading, two to four years, so I have a new smaller one. Um, those corals are still, still alive, let's put it that way. So, as you can see, I do have an angel, so he may be picking at the polyps, but I've never seen him pick at the polyps, so I'm assuming <coughs> my poor water quality <coughs> is the issue, and I have done some testing, and my alkalinity uh, is very low, and my pH is very low. <coughs> I'm assuming <coughs> my calcium levels are low, too. So, I just recently purchased a RO unit. <laughs> So I'm going to start doing water changes like you're supposed to. Just wanted to give it a test run. I've heard people going a long time without them. I would say just for a live rock tank, that would be awesome. You could probably get away with that, but not for certain corals that require lots of minerals. <coughs> Calcium, magnesium, and proper alkalinity. Fish are all fine doesn't affect the fish so so I just ordered that I'll probably just do a short video on the arrow unit once I get it set up um, let you know how that goes if it's really simple really hard but that's about it so stay tuned for the next update and if you have any comments please put them in uh, especially about the background what do you think the blue versus the black and uh, we'll see you soon